Hey everyone, Alexi here, producer from Exile. In this video, I'm gonna give you the five ways that you can sell your film to Netflix. Okay, so I've been fortunate enough to sell two films to Netflix. The first one, my debut feature film, Plague, and my fourth feature film, a uh, film called Paper Champions. So I'm gonna take you through the different ways that you can sell to Netflix and I'm gonna split it up into two components. So the first is basically once you've completed your film and the second one is when you're actually in the financing stage because you can bring Netflix on at either of those stages and sell your film to them. So we're gonna start at the back. So once your film is completed and work our way back from there. So the first way that you can do it is to land your film at a major festival. So I'm thinking like one of the top six to eight festivals in the world and invite the executives from Netflix to the premiere. Now, if you're playing at one of those major festivals, they're likely gonna be there anyway um, because most of the buyers are at those screenings. Um, but just for the sake of completeness, and um, to give yourself the best shot, you basically want to track down that person's contact details, um, get in touch with them and invite them to the premiere. The person that you're gonna to wanna to look for is anyone in the acquisitions department at Netflix. And so you can do this just look, um, searching on Google or on LinkedIn um, and you'll be able to find their contact details, reach out to them, send them an invitation. Now your hope is that the film is so good, it's so well received at that premiere that you can then get in touch with them afterwards, um, ask them what they thought of the film, and hopefully that can start some sort of um, discussion or negotiation around you simply selling the film directly to them. Now, this assumes that you have financed the film yourself independently with no sales agents, no distributors attached to the project. So you're going into the festival having full control, full rights over the project, and you're able to simply sell it directly to Netflix. So that's number one. Number two is you land at a major festival, but you go into that fest festival with a sales agent. So a sales agent is going to represent the worldwide rights to your film, and they're gonna be responsible for selling it to any major streaming platform, including Netflix, or they're going to try and sell it directly to local distributors in different territories around the world. But they're going to see if they can do a deal with a big streaming platform first or kind of at the top of their list because they know if they can do one sale and sell the film at a really high price, then you know that's their job done on the project. So attaching a sales agent once your film is completed is going to give you a good chance of getting in front of the right people because sales agents have those contacts, they have those relationships, they're constantly pitching projects to them uh, and they're, they're, they're in a really good position to be able to do that. Now the downside for you as a filmmaker um, is that they're gonna take a commission um, for their work. Now, look, personally, I don't consider it a downside because what you're doing is you're essentially paying that commission um, for access to that network um, and for access to that experience. So um, in my view, it's still, you know, while there's a downside in terms of the commission that you lose, you're getting some upside from it as well. So in my view, it's a fair transaction. Now, you can also attach a sales agent to the project and you don't need to play at a major festival. So a, a sales agent, even if you don't land one of those big festivals, they're gonna be at each of the markets and they're gonna be trying to sell the project to streaming platforms like Netflix. So the key here, number two, is to attach a sales agent. Complete the film, attach a sales agent, leverage their network, their relationships, their, um, you know, their, the, the work that they put in, the travel that they put in going to those markets. You're leveraging all those things to get the film in front of Netflix and to sell it to them. The third way is that, let's say you aren't able to attach a sales agent once the film's completed, no one takes it on. What you can do is you could still attach a local distributor to the project, so a distributor that's in your local territory and they can sell the film to Netflix. So they could either sell it as an exclusive in your territory or if they're gonna take the film out theatrically, they could simply sell the SVOD rights um, to your project in that territory. 
Now, the reason this is also a, um, a great way to go about it is that if Netflix does like the film for your territory, there's a potential that maybe they pick it up for other territories, right? So once you're in with Netflix, they might look at it and say, okay, hey, this has you know, potentially a wider appeal, we should send it to head office. Uh, and so there's a potential that actually becomes like a worldwide deal. Now, that's not, you know, I wouldn't go into that expecting that. I think if you're gonna attach a local distributor, your expectations should be that they're gonna pitch it for the local territory because Netflix and these streaming platforms, they now are also trying to really localize a lot of their content spending. So they're trying to find um, films or series in specific territories to service those territories exclusively. So that's the third way, local distributor. Now, the next way is let's go all the way back to the front of the, um, the production process. So when you're actually in the financing stage. So at this point, you could actually bring Netflix into the project, again, through a sales agent or a distributor. So as part of your finance plan, if you need to bring in um, advances, distribution guarantees into your finance plan to help you finance the film, then a sales agent, so let's say you attach a sales agent, then again, they will be going to markets, they will be speaking with the streaming platforms, with Netflix, and they have the ability to pre-sell your film to Netflix at that point. So a great example of this is the film Cargo, which is an Australian film, and they had made a proof of concept, I believe, for the project, and they were on their way to financing the film, and during that financing stage, through their sales agent, they sold the film to Netflix, it then became a Netflix original. And so from that point on, during that financing stage, the film had been sold to Netflix. So that's another way to do it. And again, you're leveraging the relationship with the sales agent, but you're doing it at an earlier stage. So rather than waiting until the film's completed, you're doing it at the stage that the film is being financed. And then finally, the fifth way is to simply sell it directly to Netflix during that financing stage yourself. Now, that's probably the hardest place to do it if you don't have a relationship with Netflix already, if you haven't worked with them before, because you don't have, yeah, you don't have any pre-existing relationship. Um, it might be hard for you to even get in the door and pitch with them. Um, so if you're doing it in that financing stage, I think you're gonna have the best chance of achieving a sale through a sales agent. Um, but of course, you can absolutely try and do it directly yourself at that stage. So those are the five ways you can do it. Now in my, um, just to let you know how I did it, so on my debut feature film, we completed the film, we financed it independently ourselves, and then um, we attached a sales agent, and the sales agent sold it to Netflix um, exclusively in the US. So that was the first way. The second way was we financed and produced the feature film Paper Champions, with a local distributor attached to the project. That distributor took the film out theatrically in Australia, and then they sold the SVOD rights to Netflix, and so the film's now available um, Australia-wide uh, as part of that deal. So that's it for the video. Those are the five ways that you can sell to Netflix. And so really, you can use either one of those options um, and I encourage you to think about well, what position are you in as a filmmaker, what's your level of experience, what connections and relationships do you have in place, and then think about um, whether it may be beneficial to you to leverage you know, a sales agent or a distributor, leverage their relationships, their networks, um, to ultimately get the film onto Netflix. Now, net, just to leave you with um, some final words, is that Netflix will pay very different prices for depending on what um, rights they're acquiring and um, which territories they're buying in. So if you're able to do a worldwide deal with Netflix where it becomes essentially a Netflix original, that's gonna land you the most amount of money. If you're selling to Netflix in a local country where they're taking exclusive rights, so all rights in that country, that's gonna net you the second highest figure. And then the lowest amount that you're gonna get from Netflix is when they're simply acquiring 
the SVOD rights and you're still able to uh, exploit the rights of the film through theatrical, you know, through TV, through any of those other rights. So they're the three tiers um, that you can have as, a, as someone selling to Netflix. All right, so that's it for the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to this channel for filmmaking advice. And if you have any comments or follow-up co uh, questions, leave them in the comments section below. All right, thanks for joining me on this video and we'll see you on the next one.